This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version. I'm on level 35, closed crossroads. Goals. Peasants must survive, protect the village. Okay. The village is located on a busy crossroad and only a skilled builder can protect it. Move around the village clockwise, which is clockwise, <laughs> the way a clock moves. Use bio traps for the top and bottom passages. Use fences for the left and right ones. Fence, fence, fire trap, fire trap. Got it? Functions can be can define many parameters with various types, such as strings or numbers. Alright, so a string is a uh, well, it's called a string. It's words or it's even a sentence. It's anything with quotes around it. It's called a string because it's more than one character because a character, a char, is also a thing in code. All right. So a string is like words um, and then a number is just, well, integers and numbers. So this is a string. Fence is a string. 2020. All right. And here's the function definition. Here's them calling it. Let's get to work. Find the nearest enemy. I know how to do that. We'll type in find nearest, not item. Enemy it is. And we can leave the variable, right? We create this variable named enemy. I'll leave it like that. If there's an enemy, so if enemy colon, then use, and these are all comments. Comments are not even read by the computer. When the computer runs something, it skips all these lines that start with the hashtag. They have messages for programmers. Then use build xy to build with type to build x and y. Use the variable type to build as a first argument. Ooh, that is a... Okay. So, we need to use build xy. Awesome. Now, we're not going to build a fence. Well, we might be, but we need type to build. Where am I getting that? Way up here. It's a parameter. The parameter is up here. Now, we're not going to do it at 36. We're going to do it at x. And we're not going to do it at 30, we're going to do it at Y. This code, all of this code that is indented here, and we follow those instructions, so I'm going to get rid of the comment. All of the code that's indented here is run only when the computer hits a call to it. So this is a function definition. It creates a function. The computer looks at this code but doesn't run any of it. It gets the wall true loop and starts running this code. Now it hits maybe build something. Oh, maybe build something. What's that? Uh, oh, oh, this. Maybe. Okay, I can run that. Okay, build type. What's build type? Fire trap. X, uh, 40. Y is 20. So move to, oh, X was 40. Y is 20. So move to 40, 20. Now, okay, find nearest enemy. Got it. Check if the enemy exists. Got it. Hero build. Build type. What was build type? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Fire trap. And then where am I building this? X. Oh, X was 40 and Y was 20. Okay. And then I build that fire trap. Hits the bottom of the function. Choop. Goes to the next line of code. Runs the function again. Except with a different set of arguments. Fence now is the build type and so on and so forth. All right. So we got that. We got that. We got how it builds. Let's give this a shot. Excellent. So this is the code that worked for me. And if you're not sure about it, go watch this video again, right? Go back, watch me talk through it. It will click eventually. Great, let's move on.